All right, in the Middle East, Iran's leader is warning that his country could attack Israel again if needed. Meanwhile, Israel launched its heaviest attack on Lebanon's capital yet with at least 10 strikes last night alone. Now, in the middle of it all is a Cincinnati restaurant owner who is stuck in Lebanon as the missile strike continues. He is working to get home as soon as possible, but it could be a while. Ali Hendert has more. Well, Megan, Trisha, that's right. So the U.S. Embassy has been issuing warnings to U.S. citizens to exit Lebanon as quick as possible due to the recent Israeli strikes there. Now, that's exactly what a Cincinnati resident and owner of popular Clifton restaurant, Kabobski, you can see behind me right across the street on Short Vine Street here in Clifton. That's what he's trying to do. And him and his wife have had to temporarily close their restaurant as he's not able to travel home due to the increase in this violence. It's, it's kind of tough for being away from the, your family, and then all this happening. You know, you get in, you get in nerve time. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen to you. Andy Hajar has lived in Cincinnati for almost 40 years. Cincinnati, I love America. I just miss it. That's all. A trip to Lebanon two weeks ago to visit family turned traumatic after recent Israeli missile strikes left him unable to travel back home. I flew through Air France to Beirut. Everything was fine until the war started like 10, 10 11, 12 days ago. All of the international airline flights to Beirut airport canceled. U.S. Department uh, uh, they're calling everybody to leave right now. Hajar's wife was able to find a flight on a Middle Eastern airline for October 14th, but he's still searching for a way to come home sooner. Even routes to the airport are dangerous. On somebody who I'm going to give him, pay him a lot of money uh, to drive me to uh, to the airport. Hajar currently owns popular Clifton restaurant Kabobski with his wife Ida. Uh, I love her very much and I miss her. Hajar and his wife were forced to temporarily close the restaurant and rely on their food trucks until he is home safe. As a U.S. citizen, I, I need to leave. Worry, worry about the outcome. I, I don't know if tomorrow will shut, the airport will shut down or the day after tomorrow. Some of the bombing, Hajar says, was one kilometer from the airport. But I'm worried for the outcome. Israeli Air Force are, are bombing everything. But then all of a sudden, I, like in front of you, you see big explosion in front of your face, which is make you nervous. Hajar says he's in a safe town compared to other parts of the country, but can still see smoke from bombs and airstrikes. I just, uh, I'm looking forward to come back home. Well, Hajar and his wife are working to book him the quickest flight possible home. He hopes to be home by October 15th when they do have that one flight secured. And he welcomes anyone to come by and try his restaurant here in Clifton. And I do want to mention he was also a Taste of Cincinnati winner not only this year, but last year as well. He says he loves the city and just wants to be back home. For now, reporting live in Clifton, Allie Hennard, Fox 19 Now. Allie.